Gavin Newsom will be our governor. Now we know who to press. Okay. Now, uh, you know better, you do better. Uh, you know, they, I've been pressed. You know, I've made my mistakes. I've made my apologies. I've atoned for my mistakes and we're moving forward. So why not keep that same energy and let's hold our elected officials accountable? Now that Gavin Newsom is the governor, it's time to press and move forward and have an agenda. Now, Dr. King said, if you can't fly, if you can't fly, drive. If you can't drive, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but don't stop moving. You know, so that's where we at right now as a people and as a race, we can't stop moving. You could be stagnated. You could be, you could pause. It could look like it's, you know, it's a turtle. It's going very slow. But according to the word, you know, when I read my Bible, it says any progress is good and it's also praiseworthy. So now that we're sitting here and you sitting there listening to my voice right now, that's a good thing. But one thing we got to understand that as a people, this is our moment in history our moment in history to close the chapters on race. Cause I've been doing a lot of research and studying and we're going to start, you know, flooding the market with these videos. You know, we're working on our financial stuff and all of that stuff to get it all together. But we we're within striking range of pretty much being coming out and being that platform. And the opportunities are there, but we have to understand that we have to get on the same sheet of music and the same narrative. Now, one thing that we have in common is our race. So when you look at democratic issues, you know, look at democratic power, you know, I'm gonna do a video and break down what Democrat really means. But if you look at it, the Democratic Party, just to keep it in lamest terms, fights for social equity. Racial equity is not included in the democratic process because the Democratic Party is and was the party of slavery. So therefore, if the Democratic Party focused on race, then they're gonna have to admit and they're gonna have to you know, expose themselves of the party of slavery. Now, I'm having a conversation with you, okay? So if, if you hear something that's, uh, that you might not like, you know, just hold tight, hear me out wholeheartedly and understand that there is a method to the madness. And the method to the madness is closing the chapter on race in America has to be done by the people who was affected by those racial injustices. Because why would anybody outside of the black race fight for racial equality when you have whites, Jews, immigrants, Mexicans, Chinese, any other culture that actually suffers from a social aspect of it. That's why you could have whites on the Democratic side, you know, conservative whites married and have a family, but their whole purpose and focus is the class. Okay, their issue is the class. They don't have what the other whites have. So they want to take away from them to basically either build their brand or to balance the scale. Now, AOC, Alexandra uh, Cortez, the congresswoman, you know, she went to the Matt Gala, the Matt Gala, which is a $25,000, $30,000, you know, a plate function. And she wore a dress that tax the rich. And she's a progressive Democrat. So tax the rich. Take from the rich and give to the poor, like Robin Hood. But when you are not forced, but born in the dirt and you're on the ground floor, you have to be a part of what you are and understand that that's the grass roots. Like we're at the base and the concept of grass roots is bottom up. So we can't worry about who's at the top of the Christmas tree or who's you know, crowning the Christmas tree, what we can do is make sure that we grow up from the ground and at least be the ornaments or something because nobody wants to be stagnated on the ground. But when you are black in this nation, when you are the enemy to any and every culture, including your own, then it's a tough battle. But we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we're not going to, you know, you know, stray away or be afraid of what we need to do. What it's going, what it's doing is motivating us to get right, not only with God, but once we get right with God, is to have the boldness and to speak that truth to power. Okay, we can't speak truth to power just riding along. What Kwame Brown would say to get along, go along, gang. We have to, you know, press iron sharp as iron, steel sharp as steel. So instead of you know, pulling down, let's push up, let's elevate. 
And that's what they mean by leveling up. 